Morning. It was cold last night. Oh, I've got almost all my clothes back on. <laughs> Hot coffee, porridge on the go. We've got quite a long day today. I think it's 21 miles to Clun up over the Stiper Stones. Looking forward to that. Right, we're back on the trail. We've done about half a mile just to warm up because it's pretty cold this morning. This is the youth hostel. We're at Bridges Youth Hostel. Now we wanted to stay here, but it's fully booked. So we stopped at Brown, what was it called? Brow How, Brown How Farm, something like that. I've probably got that <coughs> wrong. <laughs> and it was okay, good facilities, not bad. The field was a bit boggy, but what can you do? It's March. Mm -hmm. Right. We've got about two and a half miles uphill to the start of the Stiper Stones Ridge, so that will warm us up even more. Yes, I need, I need a comb or a brush. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Just round the corner from the youth hostel is the Bridges Inn. Unfortunately, closed for renovation. We wanted to come here last night. Pity. <laughs> Long mend. All right, Ninja. <laughs> what a walk past <coughs> shot that was, past the Stiper Stones. Uh, thank you very much to Adrian, who looked like a very experienced and uh, excellent photographer with his enormous camera lens. Serious <laughs> pro. <laughs> who very kindly offered, I didn't ask him, he offered to stand there on that rock and do that walk past shot for us. And didn't he do a fantastic job? It's a belter. Looked good to me. <laughs> So there's the summit with the trig point on top. And the Stiper Stones Ridge now continues with various other outcrops into the distance there, over one or two of those smaller summits and off towards Bishop's Castle. <laughs> back there are the Stiper Stones in the distance and we've walked all the way along that ridge past the Nip Stone into the sunshine bit that you can see there through that V notch valley and steeply down here and then steeply back up and we've got more climbing to do.
we've reached Bishop's Castle on a beautiful day. Lovely little town this is. Hilly, with loads of old buildings coming down, little crisscross streets and shops and pubs and things. We had a nice break in um, Bishop's Castle, lovely little place, and uh, stocked up, little rest in the sunshine on a bench. Ah, feel a bit better now. Um, however, we've got a bit of a change of plan. The going underfoot is quite hard because everything's really heavy after the, all the rain we had recently. And it's very boggy and muddy and it's slowing us right down, not to mention the terrain from this morning as well. And we find ourselves seven hours in having done 12 or 13 miles it's and it gets dark at about hmm, i'd say half six so we're running out of daylight and there's another 11 miles to go on the official way right out hooking into the countryside uh to offers dyke and then over about three or four hills and we're just we haven't got the energy to do all that because we think that paths are going to be really boggy and we're going to run out of daylight so we're going to cut a different route in a more straight line between bishop's castle and clun in order to get there with enough energy and a bit of daylight left but we're still on track for clun tonight so let's keep going Well, we have had an adventure this afternoon, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. And it's got nothing at all to do with hiking or the Shropshire Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Probably so, uh, yeah, I guess so. So we left you at um, Bishop's Castle and decided to walk a back lane first for a little way and then the shortest way along this A road. A quiet a road because it's a countryside and it's a sunday afternoon but it, nevertheless there was no footpath so it was a bit hairy when cars went past at high speed wasn't it and a few mm. lorries yeah um and we it was six or seven miles to clun and we thought we'll do that and then we'll get a campsite there right so we got halfway going well lovely sunny day and we thought oh dear we're pretty whacked now and we've, we're not sure our onward plans either so we decided to try to thumb a lift on a quiet country road on a Sunday. So the two of us, would you pick us up? <laughs> so we thumbed out for about 10 minutes and I said to Adam, come on, I think we've got to climb that hill. There's like five cars went by, no chance. And he said, one more car. All right, give him one more car. And beaming Bill came round the corner. <laughs> Oh dear, Bill with his little Fiesta. Grand Hatch Bill. Let's just say he was in his senior years with a great big smile on his face and he said, I used to go hitchhiking myself when I was a young'un so uh, I feel obliged to give something back and we were very grateful and he was good fun too. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, <laughs> he, um, it was only a short journey but very entertaining so thank you very much Bill. There's no chance you're watching this video <laughs> <laughs> but we were grateful. He dropped us right in the middle of Clun. Now we had a few options. The campsite down the road isn't even open yet. I don't think they've opened for the season. So that was a, a non-starter. Um, the youth hostel at Clun is a very nice one, but they don't, they don't take bookings anymore. It's just um, individual parties book out the entire hostel. So that was a non-starter. To be honest, we knew that, but we, tr we tried our arm and tried to pitch our tents or ask if we could pitch our tents in the back garden. No. A resounding no. So we thought, well, we're going to have to just carry on the, the Shropshire Way and shin up the bank another two miles and try and find some kind of wild pitch in the forest, which neither of us were really that happy about. Uh, there was a couple of rooms above pubs in the town, but they were expensive. And we just asked someone on the side of the road who was tending their, their horses in a paddock just down there. Hey, do you know anyone that would let us perhaps pitch our tents in the back garden? Oh yes, just try our, uh, our neighbours next door. They're really, really nice people. They're fantastic. They'll probably say yes. And we thought, wow, thanks very much. But didn't really expect them to say yes, did we? Nope. 
we thought they'd politely decline not a bit of it look at this so this couple very friendly indeed showed us into their back garden and said take your pick boys pitch wherever you want how good is that fantastic <laughs> So we're pitched up, as you can see, and not only did they let us camp in their back garden, but they brought out mugs of tea and a slice of cake. We are spoiled. <laughs> I won't mention the names and I haven't shown the property because it's not fair. So thank you very much for your help on uh, in enriching the end of our day two of the Shropshire Way. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.